Yeah, well done. That was a good cut, that. Well, had a big cut that in his round, I'd say. much better, isn't it? First birdie today for Stenson. This lake, there's nothing to help this at all. Eight iron, 180. Show me the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't I he? did. I think he thought he'd hold that one. Yeah, I must say, I thought he had as well. He'd be fuming at that. Just a little breeze help us slightly off the left. Today. That last one goes in for Henrik Stenson. Great start to the back nine. Yeah, it looks like the three wood for the Pied Piper of Sweden. 320 to the bunkers. It's a 40 yard gap between the penalty area and the sand. Oh, you beauty. Take that one out, Henry. I think the crowd quite like that one. Of a big swing here. Parachute shot. Get up. That was really unlucky. He played that so well. Pulled the head cover off the big stick again. Let's see if he launches this one. Big shoulder turn. on that one for Stenson. Be careful, he's behind you. Could run three birdies and five holes for Stenson. Moves up into a tie for fifth. Control there from Stetson. Well, what a chance gone there for Stetson. Absolutely sensational there from Stetson. Up there is probably going to put him at about fifth last group off now tomorrow. Oh, 
four birdies on the card today. And a double bogey at that opening hole, and a drop shot coming at the par three sixth as well for Henrik Stenson. So certainly not the charge that he and all the Gothenburg fans were hoping for. Henrik is 69 today. How would you assess your performance? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the fight back. Yeah, I, uh, I doubled the first and then I stood over a six-footer for par on the second. So, I mean, when, when you're in that situation early on, you, you're not really feeling like you got off to a flyer. So, um, yeah, I was, I was fighting hard and got the reward for the, for the patience and the fighting, um, I guess, early on in the back nine. Made three birdies in four or five holes there and it um, would have been nice to to get another one up the 18th. I had a good tee ball, but I couldn't capitalize on that one. And uh, yeah, with three backs, I was still at the races, even though it was a tough day for me. The crowd seems to be getting bigger and bigger. What does that mean to you at this stage? Yeah, the support uh, has been tremendous this week. And more than anything, I think what I take the most uh, joy out of is, is seeing all the, all the youngsters, uh, both boys and, and girls that are around uh, following us when we're playing and giving us high fives. and. They, they seem to be excited to be out here, and that's uh, that's great for the for the game itself. You're three off the lead going into the final day. What's the game plan for tomorrow? No mistakes and lots of birdies, I guess. Uh, I, yeah, I definitely need to get off to a better start than I did today. And uh, um, yeah, when you're three back, you can't really afford any any uh, easy mistakes. So we try and keep it tidy and keep on hitting some good shots, and uh, hopefully roll a few in and see if we can put some pressures on the on the guys ahead in front. Henrik, 69 today. How would you assess your performance out there? Ja, jag får vara nöjd med kämpan insatsen och tålamodet. Det var en dålig början. Han gjorde dubbel på ettan och stod över en två meters paput på tvåan. Så att det var inte någon smakstart direkt. direkt. Så att vi, vi hängde in och kämpade på bra. Gjorde börde 10, 11, 14 var det väl. Så att vi, vi kom tillbaka på sista nio. Och även om, om vi är tre bakom så får vi nog vara ganska nöjda med dagen ändå att efter en dålig start så lyckas vi vända det till något lite bättre i alla fall. The crowd support for you is getting bigger and bigger every day. How much does that mean to you? Ja, det är fantastiskt att spela in för sån här hemma publik. Otroligt mycket juniorer också, vilket är riktigt kul att se där ute. Vi är här för att inspirera nästa generation också och det, det tycker jag vi lyckas bra med. Så att, en, en härlig vecka och det ser ut som att värdemässigt och publikmässigt ska bli en bra avslutning imorgon också. Så jag, jag försöker göra vad jag kan för att göra några extra bördis då. Three off the lead going into the final day. What's the game plan for tomorrow? Ja, givetvis när du är efter så har du inte råd att göra billiga misstag och du behöver göra tre bördis mer än vad de som är i täten gör. Så att, ja, det, chansen finns ju men det krävs ett bra avslutningsvarm med få misstag och, och ett antal bördis. Så att, vi får se om vi kan mäkta med det imorgon. Chansen finns ju. If you want to watch another European Tour video, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here.